guys, so welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be kind of like a ride along. I told you guys to like ask questions, like it could have been like a TMI, it could have been pretty much anything you guys want me to really answer. So I will be going into full depth. Um, this might be a little weird because my mom is sitting right beside me. I'm most likely probably not from this video with my mom right beside me. I think I feel more comfortable filming it by myself and let my mom watch it. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but I guess I'll just start by like answering you guys' questions that you guys asked on Instagram. So let's get into it and see how this video goes. First question was, what's your favorite restaurant and favorite candy? My favorite restaurant is probably, I don't know, I really like Logan's, but it's more of a southern thing. I don't think it's really like in Florida. Um, my favorite candy is probably sour gummy worms. From like the trolleys. I'm sorry if the camera's kind of shaky. We're going over a bridge. Um, tips for getting intimate with your boyfriend. Intimate with your boyfriend. I can't read. Um, this is gonna be awkward to kind of answer like on camera just because my mom's sitting there. Yeah, but mom. What, I mean, do do we don't really do mom? anything special. Like as bad as that sounds, we don't really do anything. You know, when we're together, we both get horny together. Like, we don't have to do anything to get horny, so, yeah. What? I didn't know we were throwing words out like that, like, you just, I don't know what words you want me to tell, like, what am I supposed to do, like, keep it PG, PG-13, like, I don't know. What? I've never done this before, so you guys wanted to know what you guys wanted to know, I'm trying to answer it, so can I put that they in said there? intimate. Message. I don't even know what that means. Let's look up the definition of intimate. Is that not what it means? Isn't it like about to like what gets you like into it? Yeah, but like I don't want to hear my kids say That's that. why oh whatever. We're leaving it. That's so boring though, like I don't know, we don't do anything special. We don't. She, Cause she shouldn't be doing that at all. <laughs> how about that? See she's not even old enough to know how to do that. No, I like, just don't care. I mean I do care, but like I don't know. I don't feel like it needs to be that special, like every time. Like yeah, maybe for the first time, like between the partner, like yeah. But like if you're gonna do it all the time, then don't. I don't know. Okay. Caroline, like. Okay, now you're making me feel bad. Stop. What? First of all, I don't want to know what y'all are doing. You need to go to church. I do go to church every Sunday. You go to church more. <laughs> Guys, if you're listening out there, you're supposed to wait till you're married. That way you know how to get intimate and you know what the word means. But isn't that, isn't that the word, isn't that the same thing? I mean, no. yeah. Intimacy can be numerous things. It can be from cuddling. We cuddle a lot, but. To like, that, it doesn't just have to be that word like it is says familiar clothes like intimate friends, yeah it's private like, and personal yeah i think you took that to a different level that i didn't even want to know about like usually that's cuddling or a foot massage or wow. things of that nature should we restart it when we do it again <laughs> no that's the best part of this okay no, but now i feel embarrassed she makes comments like that. Now, now you just followers. Now you a bad kid. Like you out I'm there. I'm not a bad kid. You're just out guys. there doing random stuff you shouldn't be doing. It's not like I'm going around doing it with five other guys. It's one person. One's I'm oh. not. I'm not a bad kid. She's not a bad kid. How just do, doing bad things. And the next question is, how do you shave down there? <laughs> who, who follows you on Instagram? I don't know. People want to know this. Who wants to know this? What's this? What's this person's name? No, honestly, it's, I don't really 
told you. I don't no, even, tell the truth. Karen. I don't even exfoliate. I just go sideways and then I just go down. And that's it. She like with a, shaving cream. That's it with the razor. She I don't use nose trimmers. <laughs> I don't do anything special. Some girls, though, okay, let's be on a real note. Some of you girls get what's called folliculitis. All those little bumps. Isn't that like flakes? No. Little bumps that girls get when they shave, even their bikini lines. I get that too, already. Right. Yeah, that is called folliculitis from a nurse's standpoint. But I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me. So. It doesn't, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help them. Use the lift lane. So, if you use a Vino shave gel, um, and not, I know guys, you want to go just buy the cheap junk, but a Vino shave gel is the number one dermatologist, this is my field, dermatologist recommend for shaving. So, start there. Do not buy those razors that are three and four razors at a time, like the Gillette. Oh, that's the ones I use. The Gillettes and things are actually really bad for you. The one, I know, girls, you're like, oh, they don't get a smooth bikini line. But just like um, the single blade ones, the ones that you can just throw away or whatever. So you don't want to use those or you do want to use those? You do want to use a single blade. Oh, but I think I, we use those, don't we? I think you have a triple blade. Oh, right? I, use, I use the men use the like third. Gillette razors because yeah. I feel like I, I like them. Things done faster. Yeah, I like them better, but at the same time, they do leave bumps. It does. And that's the worst thing to do. And... I know a lot of girls like to shave the day of, then you put your bikini on and it rubs and all those things can cause folliculitis. So if you're trying to avoid that, try those two tricks to see if you can get some help. I don't really do anything special. Like mine's just the fast and easy way as it is. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really care. Like I know that sounds bad. Like I don't exfoliate, I don't do any of that stuff. Wait, what's it? Why we keep using the word Cause, exfoliate? Because some people, I've seen YouTube videos where they're putting like, where they're like putting stuff to open up the hair so like it doesn't get ingrown. So uh -huh. they're doing stuff before so you don't uh -huh. get ingrown hair and then they're shaving so they don't get ingrown hair down there when they shave. Guys, don't listen to everything you hear on YouTube and all that. I'm telling you the best thing. Okay, folliculitis, first of all, is sometimes genetic guys you just can't stop it if you will go to a dermatologist they can give you cream to put on that area because it is a serious problem with some girls and some girls even get like bulls and stuff like cysts okay and so if it's truly a problem like dermatologists can give you creams you're usually like clindamycin um things like that and i think you can find some of that stuff over the counter and you can put it on your bikini line to help with some of that but that junk where they're telling you to, that's a waste of time, that's a waste of money, and usually they're trying to sell you a product, I'm telling you, Vino shaving gel, can't skip out and buy the cheap stuff, single blades. I use Gillette. I use men shaving she cream. She does, and, but she don't have that problem. Like, you don't have the folliculitis no. really as a problem, mm -hmm. so some girls do. Other question is, how did you and your boyfriend meet and where? I have a full video of that. I'll link that down in the description box if you guys want to watch that. I don't want to go in full in depth on this video, but I'll link down the video where and like explain the whole thing of my mom reaction to. I know. I want to react to that anyways. That would be a good one for my channel. Um, okay. So the next question is, is, how does it feel when you're getting so much hate? I filmed this video or this question by itself. So, and I want to shout out Amy Thompson. She's the best. She, we message all the time. But that was her question. But I am going to do a separate video on that. So, I don't know if that video will be up before this video. But I'll try to link it down below. I'll come back and edit it maybe. And post it in this video. But, yeah. That video is going to be posted by itself. So, look out for that video because I won't post it. But, back to the questions. Um, what state would you want to live in when you're older and move out? Um. So, I don't know. I'm from North Carolina, so Florida is a lot different than North Carolina, especially because I grew up in the South my whole life. So, I probably... Yeah, you did. You went to well, the UK for well, six years. Well, to the UK, but pretty much what I know is I, I pretty much have you, yeah. lived in North Carolina besides... North Carolina and Florida is the only two places that we've ever lived. So, Florida and North Carolina are the only two states that I'm kind of really familiar with. But I probably would go back to North Carolina just because my family's down there and my boyfriend really likes it down there. And I don't know. I think when I'm older, I don't know. I think North Carolina would be a good place. I mean, it's the mountains, it's nice. But I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Like, the only place I really have thought about is North Carolina just because that's where they want to move later in life when they're older. So I don't know. 
It just depends on where they are and where life leads me. So, I might be here for the rest of my life, or I might be moving in North Carolina. I don't really know yet, but... <laughs> North Carolina's awesome. Yeah. Like, there's always hiking and stuff, and my boyfriend likes to hike and things like that. So, I don't know. Maybe North Carolina, or wherever they... Well, probably, it'd probably be living right next door to them, so... Yeah! I don't know. It honestly just depends. But North Carolina is probably my safe state, I would say. Um, let's see. I have any more. So this question is, boyfriend not understanding my needs. Need advice. Um, I would pretty much say if he doesn't understand your needs, then he probably doesn't respect you as a person. And if he doesn't respect you as a person, then he doesn't know your worth, then you should... I'm not saying you guys should, like, break up, but I don't know. I know there's going to be a lot more other guys out there that will definitely know your worth a lot more and respect you as a person. So, like, if you told him that you wanted ice cream, but he didn't want to get you ice cream. But I know that's a tiny, like, me, but I know there's, like, that bigger situation things. situation is loaded. Like, first of all, how old is she? I don't know. Because, guys, honestly, when you're young, God mature okay they're still trying to catch up yeah so give them a little bit of a break all right it's like, like at the end of the day they probably don't understand what they want either and they don't and so like, they're trying to figure out what they want through but they want to have a girlfriend but they don't know what they want to keep them company so they're like oh well this is not what i want but i still want you around type thing it is and they just they're just immature and guys we honestly as an older lady we think guys can read our minds and we think everything's supposed to be like a fairy tale that is where us women and I get it I want the fairy tale and the white horse and and it's just not like that and if you can get a partner that is truly your best friend that you can tell that person anything and they're not going to judge you and that that person constantly makes you want to be better if they forget to get you ice cream on the way home let it go yeah because if you can find the other things that are awesome and within that relationship, that's true building yeah. things. But it depends on what your needs are. If it's the constant, you don't matter, you, what you need, it don't matter. And yeah, yeah that's self Or he's pretty much ignoring like the baby things that you want to build your relationship on. Then that is kind of like a red flag too. Because yeah. all the little things matter as well. It's not just the big things. Yeah. So that's just my point of view on it. Um, after marriage, how long do you want to wait till you have children? Um, I've always wanted to have children at a young age because I, I don't know. I don't want to be 30 and a parent. Oh my god. I don't gosh. know why. I mean, she had my brother at like 32. And hey, I, they've been throwing ages out there. Well, why am I getting thrown Well, for some bus? reason, I found that such an old age. And I don't want to, she's not old. She's not old, but I don't want to have kids at 32. Like, I, I don't. Know. I want to be like that young parent that's still like, I don't know. She's going to be 10 or 22. Yeah, see, like. I don't know. That's, I just keep throwing my age out there. That's like, just that's a thing. That's, <laughs> that's old for me. Like she's not old, not. but like I don't know. You're gonna be like when he's twenty, you'll be in your fifties. It doesn't matter. So, like I had y'all young, and I had him not at old, but older than yeah. I did you. Yeah, I know. But. And it's totally different parenting at that point. Like I was just young and growing up with you girls, and just had a blast and. Still mama bear. Because I just feel like I want like him. I didn't worry as much. I don't want to miss out on part of my child's life. Because I feel like if what I start. Doing, like dying No, tomorrow? that's not what I'm saying. Shh. But like, if you have a kid at like, I don't know. I want to have kids at like 24, 25. I just want to be a young mom that's like still like, I'm not saying like 40 or old and crippled and your knees don't work or whatever. But I'm just saying. I'm I'm just, well, just go ahead and get me like. I'm just saying. Like I want to. <laughs> I'm, done. I'm just saying, like, I want to be that mom that, like, you will be, I don't know. You but at the same be. time, I still want to travel and do all that. So, I don't know. It's wherever pretty much life leads me, I guess. It is. a lot Because I'm not even like through college yet. Yeah. yeah. You can't really plan that. I think when you and Ethan, if that's who you choose, or whatever, are at a healthy point, y'all have traveled some, you've enjoyed each other, like, nobody's ever financially ready for kids. But when you're stable... Yeah. And you're 100% comfortable, then you're like, okay. Because I'm not even through college yet, and then he wants to go back to school. Yeah. So, I don't know. It just depends. And we haven't even really... Like, we've talked about marriage. Like, we obviously want to marry each other. But we have, but he talks about, like, I want to have a house. I want to be, like, 
stable yeah. and things like that. So it's whenever that kind of happens. It's not like anytime soon. I just want y'all to be young and date and just travel and enjoy each other. So someone said, has he gotten you a promise ring yet? No, he hasn't. We've they only been dating three months. We've only been dating four months. Oh, four. So, I mean, I feel like promise rings are for like one year. You need to calm down. I don't know. I feel like promise rings are good for one year. Promise I feel, rings are good when the emotion is there. I don't know. I've never really had a promise ring any from any guy, so I don't really, I don't know. I think it would be cute to be like, hey, yes, like, I promise to marry you, but then at the same time, it's like if you guys break up, it was kind of stereotypical, because it's like... I don't understand all this promise ring stuff. Like, why are you promising to marry me? Like, well, let's just do it when we're ready. It's just more like promise I'm going to stay with you forever. Like, I promise that you are the actual one that I want to marry. It's why does it take a ring to do that? I'm just not, I just don't like to be that person that's dated someone for five years. Like, if I'm going to date someone for five years, just put a ring on it already. Yeah, like that's just for five me. years. Yeah, you gotta go ahead and do that. Like, if I'm 19 years old and I've been dating this guy for five years, then what's what's the holdup? Yeah. Like, you're obviously being something dirty or fishy because you haven't put a ring on my finger yet. But I know some people are like, oh, I'm just not financially stable. But like, we've been dating for a while. Like, if you ain't financially stable within that five years, yeah, you're I don't know. I'm just I've always been that type of person where I feel like if it hasn't been put a ring on by like three years, and I'm kind of just like, is there still a point in this relationship? Because, like, at the end of the day, if they don't do it by three years, are they ever going to do it? They just got they just got so used to the boyfriend title where they don't want to move up or do anything. And I don't know. That's I want to be married in my life. That's where I want to be. So, like, say me and Ethan decided, like, within five years and he still hasn't put a ring on it. I don't know if he would be the one. But then I, at the same time, I've wasted five years of my life. I don't know. But that has, we've only been dating for four months. So, I don't know where life is going to lead me. But that's just how I feel about it. Hopefully, just to talk about it right now. No, I'm talking about like dates. So hopefully that's all y'all are leading to right oh, now. Oh yeah, but I'm just saying like I wanted to explain like how I tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hungry. I'm hungry too. But I was so confused. I was like Taco Bell. Like what? Okay. But the next one is TMI. But what age did you get your period? Fourteen. I think you're thirteen. I feel like I was a late starter, but maybe not. I was twelve. I think I was actually thirteen. Yeah, because uh, you were 12. Know. She came a year after you. She yeah. was later than you. I was like, I think I was a late starter, but... Uh, but some girls now, honestly, because of all this junk that they put into fast food, I mean, some girls I've heard starting at like 10 and 11. Yeah, now. I've been seeing that now on like TikTok. Like, these moms on here like, oh my gosh, my daughter has started their period and she's 10. Like, what do I do? And I'm like, 10? Stop what? Feeding her, stop feeding her fast food. Is I didn't even get my period until I was like, teenager, like, starting to be a teen. It's just all the, the all these chemicals and all these just stuff that we load these animals up with. It affects us. It just affects them. But I've always had irregular parents anyway, so like, who yeah. really knows? That's why she started birth control. Is yeah. She, she was literally coming downstairs in the UK. I was falling, falling to out. the ground. Like, I was fainting. My periods were so bad. I was in cold sweats. I was throwing up, throwing up passing out, and... I realized that birth control has regulated and calmed down my cramps. Like, now I have no cramps whatsoever. Only thing I think happens now is that my legs cramp. That's only, like, when I know that my period's on its way. It's because I get leg cramps. But other than that, I don't get any stomach cramps or anything Yeah, anymore. that was new to me. Like, I never, like, you hear about it, but I was like, seriously? Like, I knew why? I started my period when I wake up in a cold sweat. And I haven't had that. I think it was, like, the first two years, I think, on my period. But after that, it stopped. But my cramps were still bad. But then I got on birth control. But, yeah, I've had really bad periods. I'm the one that has experienced really bad periods. Really bad. And my doctor said it was normal, but at the same time, it did not feel yes. normal to me. Um, I think that's all of them. Well, this one asks, what's your dream job? Job? I'm going to school right now to be a dental hygienist. But I wouldn't say that's really my dream job. I don't know if I really had a dream job. I don't know. Really? Like, if you could be anything and was willing to put the schooling into it, what would it be? I don't know. Like school is not interesting to me. I, I don't like school. So I pretty much, all the reason why I went into dentistry, and I know this sounds hard, but it was really easy money and not a lot of schooling. That's okay. kind of all the reason why I went into dental so hygienist. So I can't really say that job. I had a dream job. Probably marine biologist. That is, you that is that something, that I, that's something I've talked about when I was a kid. But then when I found out that I had to be on a boat for six months and I get seasick, I was like, nope. And I don't, I don't know. 
I just don't want to be out there for six months and sleeping on a boat, be cold, and be miserable. I don't know. But I don't think it would have been like that. I don't know because there is some like stuff that I feel like you would have to be on a boat for six months to do is that study. Wild pigs? I'm sorry. Like that's, that's wild pigs. That's wild pigs. hogs. That's hogs. Oh my god. Like and a baby. Sorry, we got lost track. We already saw deer on the way here. Yeah. So we're now we're seeing pigs. I guess the gates broke out. No, I think they're just wild hogs. But yeah, I didn't really I don't really have a dream job. I get that asked a lot. I had to say them going to dentistry just because it's easy money and fast college, I guess. That's not your dream job. Yeah, it's not my dream job, but Marie Rollage still would have took like I think like four years of college. And I I don't like school. Like it's bad to say that I don't like school but I wanted to, I still went to college because I wanted to benefit in my life like I still wanted to be like I don't know a decent human being I guess so I went to college but that's pretty much it if I I probably wouldn't have went to college but at the same time I kind of did so I my fear is always being homeless weirdest thing ever it's the weirdest thing ever Since, I don't like, know she was why eight, yeah I'm like am I, yeah so I feel like I might as well go to school make decent money so I don't become homeless. I've know. told her as long as I'm alive you'll never be homeless. Yeah but then when you die then I'm sunk. I, want I know because that's like tomorrow remember? No, I mean, like, but I'm, old. I'm just saying yes. and I, plus I don't want you to like be affording me when I'm 30 because then it's like I don't know but I thought I would just go to college and do she want to be homeless? Pretty much and benefit more of my life but pretty much I feel like I was going to be I know with her as my mother, I never would be homeless, but my fear is always that I was going to be homeless. So I was just like, you know what, why not go to college, get some school, and I guess become a dental hygienist. I know there's probably other jobs out there that are super easy for college, but for some reason I just picked dental hygienist. I don't know. I kind of wanted to be an orthodontist too. I was going between back and forth between like a marine biologist and orthodontist. Cause ever since I had braces, I was really fascinated on how braces, like oh, that piece of metal made your teeth straight. So that's kind of why I wanted to go that, but it was like 10 years of school to be like the doctor. And I was like, no. It was like eight, right? It was like eight, but then you had to do like two years of like specialty Fish school. Loss. And I was like, nope, 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 nope. So, but then that's, then okay, then that's kind of what led to me being a dental hygienist. Cause I still wanted to be in the dentistry field, but something easy. So that's why I went for that. And plus they get off at like five o'clock and they only work like four days a week and they still make decent money. So I was like, you know what? Perfect. And I still get off Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. So I don't know. It kind of just played out. Like I know that sounds like a st stupid reasoning, but I'm just being real with you guys, I guess. But yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because that's all the questions that I have. A lot of them are repeated. But I feel like I went in depth with pretty much all of them because this video is already like 20 minutes long. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do want a part two, you guys should definitely let me know in the comments because I actually kind of found this kind of fun. Like sitting down and just talking with you guys because I feel like I don't do that. Like, but I, just, I thought it was fun. So if you guys want a part two, you should guys like and comment and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if you guys want a part two. Cause I'll yeah, because we two. can film it on the way home. Yeah. Driving home next week. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next